One of the biggest complaints for Dragon's Dogma 2 is the game's lack of difficulty and the enemies not scaling as you become more powerful. The combat is awesome and finding a drake or a griffin early on into your journey is a challenging and memorable experience, but when you are able to one-shot even the toughest enemies in the game, that is no longer the case. So in today's video I will be showing you something that has been requested by so many players, a true new game plus for Dragon's Dogma 2 that aims to not only alter existing enemies to make the fights more fun and actually tough, but also by adding some new endgame monsters into locations that you otherwise wouldn't expect to find, giving you a complete fresh experience that is perfect for a second playthrough thanks to new game plus true difficulty and new game plus epic encounters. There are some wild changes, so without any further ado, my name is Dark Hero and let's get into it. Alright, so here we are in the title screen about to embark on our new game plus journey, so let's go ahead and get that started. I'm probably gonna keep my character from this save as is, so let's go ahead and continue. Now I have not seen anything new so far, but we're about to reach the point where we fight off against the Cyclops, so maybe we'll see something new there. The mod author did mention that the waterfall cave might actually have something new in there, so I'm going to be checking it out. And I think that this is the entrance. So let's see if we find something new here. Oh, there's a ton of Saurians in here, but I think that's by default. They're not dying super fast. So at least the mod is working. Oh, I see a health bar. Alright, looks like we found our first boss. Is there a gore chimera? It is? Okay. It's definitely very early on for you to find this, so that's cool. Gonna try to focus on the tail. Now I'm gonna cast the shield before I get hit by the spell. Yeah, definitely not dealing a lot of damage, but maybe I am a little bit underleveled. Nice, we get a knockdown here, maybe. Nice. Big damage here. Love to see it. Nice, he's almost dead. Let's see if I can get off the snake here. Okay, he's down, big damage, critical hit. There we go. Right, that was an awesome first boss, again getting the Gore Chimera very early on into the game. I mean, you start off a new playthrough around here and then you can get the Gore Chimera already here. So I realized that I left the cave without actually getting to the end of it and I think that there might be a couple of new enemies that we didn't find. So we're going back to find the rest of those enemies. And it looks like one of those NPCs actually died. Not gonna waste a wake stone on him. And as you can see, I had time to set up camp, change my pawns, and change my vocation. Alright, and I think we should see something new around here. If I'm not mistaken, this is where a lich is going to show up, so let's see what we're going to find. And there he is. Oh, but it spawns two of them. And we get this army of skeletons, okay. That's more interesting for sure. Oh shit, gotta make sure that I dodge that. Good thing I decided to go to a campsite because otherwise I would not be prepared for this. Gotta make sure that I dodge that, nice. And we're doing decent damage, but that's because I'm using a holy dagger. But as you can see, they're not totally melting right away, which is exactly what I wanted from this mod. Oh shit. Okay, we're fine. Now let me try something here. Ah, crap. That was not in my plans. Oh, almost died there. 
Let's try to get rid of this one first. We do have these soldiers helping us out, of course, so that is making our lives a little bit easier. Oh shit, is he casting a tornado? He is. Damn. This one's almost dead. One more skull splitter should do it. And there we go, the first one's gone. Now we gotta deal with the big one. Okay, he's not taking as much damage. Asha ran out of stamina. Better be careful about that. Watch out, he's gonna blow up. Okay, big time to deal damage. I know one of the pawns is dead, but f*** it. We ball. Gonna put down a powder charge. See if I can knock him down. And I'm going for my pawn. Needed to stop to get rid of the zombie. Or rather skeletons. Let's parry that. Nicely done. And down goes the big skeleton. Time to deal damage. What the fuck is happening with this guy? Are you okay, my dude? And he's almost dead. And there we go. We finally got this man. But as you were able to see, these guys pack quite a punch and they're also a lot harder to kill. That being said, it should be noted that the mod author has stated that the balance around these bosses assumes that you go in with a powerful character that is around level 70 and having already beaten the game once, so this save file is a little bit underleveled. Oh shit. That's not supposed to be there. What the hell? That's crazy, they put that thing in here? Well, time to test my warrior against it. That's actually crazy. Nice. Oh, he's going in the water? Oh, that's unfair. Nice, big damage. Quick strikes, lots of damage. Oh shit, I'm taking that in the face. Not good, not good. Ooh, that was beautiful. So I'm not doing a lot of work as the warrior here because it moves around a lot. So I'm going to try to change vocations real quick and I'm going to do a little bit of a test. Let me just rescue my pawn here. Alright, so I've now changed into the warfarer. Let's try to take on this thing. It should be a little bit easier now. Let's get up close to the weak spots. Look at all that damage. Wonderful. That's just perfect. Can I hit the ones on the side here? Look at how many of those weak spots I'm hitting. That's perfect. Oh shit. Well, I did change to warfare, so let me try to use all of these. Well, down goes Andrew. Into the brine he goes. Now you might notice that I'm able to summon more of these pebbles and that's because of one of those mods as well from the mod author. One of the New Game Plus mods adds some other features to all of the vocations to make them a little bit more balanced. Come on, let me hit you in the weak spots. Right, that's perfect. Oh, look at all that damage. He threw us off, that's fine. Gonna swap to the daggers. And totally miss. That was pointless. Well, that is why I have the magic archer. Let's go ahead and hit those weak spots. Some good damage. Oh shit. Almost died right there. Let me try to get on its back. Oh shit! I'm dying! Oh no. Alright, let's blow up all of these orbs. 
Look at all that damage. Now let's hit him in the head. Big damage. One more. And there we go. Holy. I was not expecting to find this thing this early on. And we even get the death animation here in the overworld. That's crazy. And speaking of which, seems like we have a couple of Cyclops to deal with. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Let me try to do some damage from a distance before he gets up close. Oh shit. Uh oh. Almost died right there. Okay, they do a lot more damage than I'm used to, so I need to be careful about that. And I died. Okay, lesson noted. Do not stay below a Cyclops. Alright, let's do this one more time. Try to tear off the mask before he gets here. Let's do some big damage here. Fast great sword swings. Oh, look at the way his head is destroyed. What the fuck? Never seen it like that before. Do some big damage in the face. Where did the other Cyclops go? And just like that, he's gone. Lovely. What the hell are all those goblins doing? Oh, they're with the Cyclops, I see. I don't think there were this many goblins here before. Certainly there weren't a couple of Cyclops here. Okay, that's most of them. Let me try to tear off the mask. Oh, nice, we get a flinch here. And the mask is broken off. Beautiful, we love to see it. And look at all of that damage. Oh, shit. Please don't kill me. Come on, guys. Help me out. Oh, shit. Okay. That didn't deal a lot of damage. Poor guy can do a thing about it. And... Oh, he's about to die. Please don't throw me off. Ah, oh, shit. And there we go. Alright, so we just got to the city. I'm going to explore a little bit to see if I can find anything new. Oh, and I spot a couple of Cyclops, so let's get over there. I think that in this location you normally only have one to fight against. Oh, it's actually three of them. Okay, that's, that's totally new. Okay, that was a lot of knockdown damage. Now I should be able to grab onto him and he falls down. Yep, there we go. This is getting a little bit hectic. And now we're dealing with some ghosts as well. This is turning into a sticky situation very quickly. Let's focus on the face. There we go. And that's the first one down. Gonna throw myself off. And there we go, big damage. He's almost dead. And the second one is down. And there we go, that was the final one. Awesome stuff. Again, I think we were only supposed to find one Cyclops in this location, so that was a pretty cool change. Now I wonder if there is anything new in the nearby cave. Okay, we have a Drake right here. That's perfect. Time to do some big damage. Gonna try to grapple onto the heart. Do some big damage with the daggers. And he grappled onto my pawn. That's totally fine. He might end up with a dragon plague though. Oh shit, my pawns are dying. Let me get these two together before I revive them. Oh no. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, as long as we don't get hit while stunned. Ah, shit, he grabbed me. 
Help! Mage, please help me! Oh shit. No, that doesn't particularly help. Okay, I'm gonna try to revive them now. Please don't follow me. God damn it. At least I got those pawns back up. Oh shit, not the breath attack on my face. Come on. We barely lived through that. Let's do some big damage to the heart. And look at all that damage. Beautiful. Oh shit, the breath attack got me. Okay, I got the pawn back up. Oh no, he's about to summon the meteors. Got a dodge. Ah, shit. Oh no, all of my pawns are dead. This is not good. Not good. Oh no. I, I didn't dodge that. What the hell? It's another dragon? Now I got a play dragon over here? What is happening? There's too much happening at once. I'm gonna use my wake stone and try to revive them. I did not expect this to go... Is he doing the meteors? He is. Oh no. And I'm being grabbed by this one. Oh no, things are not going well. And now he's grabbing me. Okay. How am I gonna get out of this alive? Okay, let me try to revive all of them together real quick. Ah shit, he's doing the meteors again. Gotta dodge that. No, there's a Saurian here! What are you doing, man? You're getting yourself killed! Okay, I got all three of my pawns back up. Now we only have to deal with two drakes. No big deal. I probably should finish off the other drake first, but now I'm doing this. Oh, nice. I used this drake to escape the meteors. And that worked out. But would you guess it? All of my pawns are dead again. That's one. That's two. Oh shit, that dragon flinched the other one. That's cool. And that's all three of my pawns back up. At least for now. Ah shit. Quick, get up. Oh, please don't hit me. Oh god. I get one pawn back up and the other one dies. And they're all dead again. Okay. I need better pawns than this. Oh, gotta dodge that again. And I died. We still got two wake stones, so we can totally do this. Oh no, I was grabbed. And I'm getting hit by the breath attack. That's not a very good combination. And now he's casting thunder. I gotta get out of here. Okay. Okay, let me try to get some of these pawns back up. Okay, that's two. I think the third one just outright died. I cannot revive them anymore. Come on, we just gotta kill off this drake first. Let's do some big damage here. Ah, fuck, I got hit by the comet. I got hit by the second comet. Okay. And that's not good. That's on top of my pawn too. I cannot revive him now. I should have just brought the thief with formless faint. I did not pick it up because I thought it would be too easy. But now I'm kind of regretting my choices. Oh shit, they both stomp at the same time. And I got grabbed. Oh no, please don't throw me into the meteors. Oh! Oh no. Ah, shit. For a second I thought the second drake saved me. Well, that is the last wake stone. I better make this count. I don't think I ever used this many wake stones in a fight before. Holy. Nice, we got a big flinch here. We try to grapple onto the heart to deal some more big damage. Oh shit, not the comets. Okay, the first strike is almost dead. Just gotta be careful. Bad news is Elizabeth is also dead. And now I need to get her up real quick. I'm gonna try to separate these two so I can finish off the first one. Oh shit, now I have goblins after me. Let's see if I can avoid this one and take care of the first. I have to be very careful. Okay, the first one's almost dead. Okay, just gotta make sure that we dodge that. Come on, he's almost dead. One more. Ah, don't dodge it. Come on. And that's the first one down. Finally. Almost had to kill myself to get that done. And now there's still the second Drake. It should be a lot easier to deal with him now. But I actually have a plan. 
Let's see if he follows me, actually. Oh shit, is he gonna follow me all the way into town? I would like to have the help of other pawns. Oh shit, what the fuck? And he fell into the brine. <laughs> You'll love to see it. That's Dragon's Dogma for you. There's a lot more crazy things to discover with this mod and I cannot wait to find them out. I never asked this in my videos, but if you guys are interested, if the video reaches 1000 likes, I'll put out a second part where I showcase some more big changes from the new game plus. Thank you.